at this damn cord. I told these people it had a shortage in it. This is supposed to be the pole socks to tell whether or not her oxygen level is correct. So if this isn't working correctly because of this, what do they expect me to do? And they told me I only can get a new one every 30 days. And they gave me four of them. So I'm supposed to have it for like, I guess, one for every week. But in the hospital, they were spoiling me, giving me one every day, twice a day, like every time a new nurse came. So I didn't know I was supposed to keep them that damn long. So as soon as they got it like a little bit like this, when the little core started showing, like when the, you know, fuse started showing, I would just take it and change it. But I try to keep this on as long as I can because I only have one left. And they told me I can't get another one until May 15th. This is ridiculous. This lady been trying to pull this thing out of her face. Look at the tape. I put this tape on fresh after she ate yesterday. And she done pulled it and moved it and tugged it. Keep putting the cannula in her mouth all night. Then the daggone thing is blank now. And then at that, it started, um, you see the green one? That's supposed to be the number to tell her heart rate. That joint was dropping, so it was scaring the mess out of me all night. And now it's just blank because the pulse ox is broken. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking about taking her back to the hospital, y'all. Seriously. See, this is how it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to have that cord hanging from right there and shit. Yeah, I gotta just wrap some of this around. They gave me this shit like this gonna help stop it from getting old. This last long, look, look at her. Strong ass baby keep pulling on the cord. Don't try to stop pulling it now. She is pulling the shit out of it. That's why I keep coming out of the daggone thing like that. The fuse keeps showing. Stop, Cadence. It's too strong. You cannot pull it. Your strength. You just don't know your strength, young lady. They can't tell me you ain't got no skills because you be picking up cords and picking up all kind of stuff and yanking and pulling. So I'm gonna let her see if she can pick up some Cheerios. Oh, she can pick up Cheerios, all right. She pick up more than some Cheerios. She pick a cannula out of her nose and put it in her mouth. You've been picking up stuff since she been in the hospital. You learning how to pick real stuff up, huh? Mm-mm-mm. But yeah, she was scaring me with that number on the daggone green part for her heart rate. It was in the, like, 70s last night, so I couldn't even go back to sleep, man. I was in here trying to um, make sure that she wasn't needing to go back to the daggone hospital. Because that's why they started giving her that other medicine, the Fleconide, to fix her heart arrhythmia. I ended up giving her a dose of it at like 3 in the morning because she threw up when I gave her that and her other two medicines yesterday night. So I felt like maybe that's why she was, you know, her heart rate was dropping like that. And it did fix it immediately. Like, as soon as I gave it to her, I gave it to her like 310. And it started working like at 311. Like, her heart rate was back to normal. So I'm just like, oh, Lord. And I'm saying, okay, we wean you off of it. And they was telling me in the hospital she had to either take that medicine or get a, um, what you call it, a, a pacemaker inside of her. So I was just like, of course I opted for the medicine. But this is just crazy. I got to change the tape again. Look at this tape. This stuff is terrible. You got food and multivitamin all stuck on it. Poor baby. A piece of your hair stuck to the tape. I can't wait till this is over, Stink. I just want to be a regular mom so we can go to parks and zoos and go look at the seals and see them play in the water, the aquarium. Yeah. Get on a little Ferris wheel and ride a little train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at this child. This is why they say strap your baby into the bag. Go see. 
No matter if you standing right here or not. Look at her. She just laying on her side like it ain't nothing. Like she just so comfortable too. Little prayer hands. <laughs>